Back here on the Central Coast, further restricting beach bonfires at Carmel Beach, something city leaders are considering. This was the scene last night. You can see bonfires all along the beach there. Action News reporter Jacqueline Mazur spoke with several beachgoers today to find out what they think about the new restrictions. The pristine white sand at Carmel Beach is something both visitors and locals alike go gaga over. It's a beautiful place. I'd love to maintain the beauty. And so do city council members. They decided last week more restrictions, further limiting bonfires on Carmel Beach are necessary. And people at the beach Sunday share their two cents with us. They should have big concrete rings, you know, like Santa Cruz has that on some of the beaches there. You put a big concrete ring, that's where people have their bonfire, and then it kind of contains it to one area. And that's exactly what the Forest and Beach Commission is considering. As it stands, you can build bonfires directly on the sand. The city doesn't limit the number of bonfires. Fires either. But with council approval, the commission is now considering that too, limiting the number of fires in hopes of not only keeping the beach cleaner, but reducing pollution and protecting people from getting burned by smoldering fires covered in sand. I haven't heard of that happening. I suppose that could happen. Um, you know, people need to be careful about putting their fires out completely. And since the tradition of bonfires on Carmel Beach is long running, although the debate about how to successfully contain them continues, most people agree preserving the beach for future generations needs to be considered. I would be of the opinion to keep it as clean and pristine as possible. In Carmel, Jacqueline Mazur, KSBW Action News 8.